Okay, so I've in the course now and I've clicked on the content tab and I'm not clicked on unit one assignments tab. And there are three links. This one is the one you use to submit your Word document. And I recommend that you do your questions and table in a Word document so that you can save that just in case. Don't ever trust an electronic computer to save everything for you automatically. It's not going to happen. So if we lose it somehow and you don't have it somewhere else, well, I don't even want to think of that. Do you? Okay. So this dependent in independent variables document is the questions. You could copy and paste those on a Word document if you'd like. Not a bad idea. Okay. Put them aside and then we'll go to the lab. And there's the lab. It'll load. There we go. Okay. There's a table in the lab. This is what I'm going to recommend is that you put this table on a Word document and type this uh, later, but write down your data on a piece of paper, a tablet. For there's four varieties of corn. This is just one of them. And there are three treatments. There's a low infestation of corn borer, and there's a high infestation. And don't forget, there is no infestation. It's another treatment. And then you're going to write in the weights of the corn, and I'll show you how to get that with these different treatments in the lab. When I minimize this table, or I, I can't pull it out of the way to do this study, see? So I have to exit out to get rid of it. Watch this. All my data is gone. You better write it on a side or put it in another table in a Word document so that this doesn't happen because this is an anomaly of this program. You will also find the questions that I showed you are right here. You can get them here and you can copy and paste them in your Word document right from there so you don't have to really go to that other link, okay? So <clears throat> here's what you're going to do. You're going to take corn. Oops. We're going to put it in there. Okay, we're going to take corn and put it in there. And there's BT-123, and there's BT-123. Now, we've got three levels. We've only got two chambers, but we've got three levels of infestation. One of them is none. But then we also have a low level and a high level. And we're going to grow our plants. Day 140. Okay. So we take our plants. We take our corn that we harvest off of these. And of course, we can see <laughs> that the high infestation uh, is, is rough on the plants. And then we take our tray and weigh it. Get the weight, write it down, and then get another weight, write it down, get another weight, write it down. Those three weights calculate the average. Write the average in your table. Same thing goes for this side. Three weights. Write the average in your table. And then we'll reset. Okay, now this time maybe we'll do BT123 with none, and maybe we'll do golden crop with none. Okay, non BT crop. Okay, and so we'll grow. Same thing, right? Get the weights, put them in the table. Reset. Now, look, there's a BT-456. Hmm, that's a third variety. And I think there's a fourth variety. There's a golden crop, non-BT. Golden crop, non-BT. Well, there's at least three varieties. Oh, yeah, there was a super harvest there. Did you see it? <laughs> Super harvest. There. You have to keep doing it. Ah, there was a super harvest again. Okay, so there's four varieties of corn, and so you'll have four varieties, but for each variety, you'll have three treatments. 
no infestation, low infestation, and high infestation. Fill out your table, study the data, and then answer the questions in the journal, and then submit it. Okay, submit it on this tab. There we go. Now, you could cut and paste it right into here if you want. Or you could put a brief message, please see my attachment, and you could attach your Word file from your computer, right? There you go. So it's fun. And if your Word document's in your computer, like, there's a Word document, then it's attached. File name, 10 dot doc. I'm not going to attach it. Okay, so, and then hit submit, and we'll get the uh, we'll get the assignment. But in case something happens, you have it in your computer. I can contact you and say, "Gee, I didn't get your assignment." You can say, "Oh, well, I had it. Here it is," and then uh, send it to me as an attachment on an email. Very simple. Okay. So that should be good, and you should be good to go. But all the labs are similar, and I'll try to give you screencasts as we go along so that you uh, will know how to do these. Some of them can be a little bit tricky. Um, I just want to save you time because I know your time is sh short a lot of times. Please don't wait till the Sunday night to do these things. Uh, because I'm here. I'll be here all the time for you. And Sunday night, I will definitely be here. But, you know, if I've got a hundred of you trying to communicate with me in a two-hour period, it's not going to work very well. So try to do it as you go during the week. Get done as early as you can. And especially with your discussions, please get those done quickly um, so that other students who depend upon you to post discussions so that they can respond to you and you can respond to them so that nobody's left out and everybody is uh, respectful of each other's time. Thanks.